Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and we are doing uh, what's in my box. So I pulled it, well it's now as you know what's in my drawer, but I have pulled out some goodies and we'll see what's going to happen. So I hope everyone is well, look what I found in there, I love that and I didn't finish it. What else did it need? Oh it's a little notebook, oh, oh. Oh, I like that. And that was shoved in the drawer. Oh, oh, look at that. And it had an accordion pocket. Oh, so how did I? Do? Oh, I see. I put the accordion pocket on that side, and then I and I stitched in. Do we remember doing that, guys? I better keep that one. I think I'll keep it. Okay, I'm gonna put that over there. I've got a few things, see, I've kept this one. Why did I keep this one? This was the other type that I had done like that. So it was probably the same period of time as that one. I've got another one here, just a sec. What was this one? Oh, this was just the regular, just the one pocket. Probably needs to be finished off. So I'm just gonna slide all of those back up there. I've got a few things in here. Remember these? Oh, I did that such a long time ago. With the little bags. Ah. Okay, well, I'll keep that one. Excuse me while I go through my things. Here's another one. Oh, my goodness. What's going on here? Oh, oh. And that was clipped on there. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's a little document holder, that one. Oh. Didn't remember that and that got ruined anything else flying around up there there is um, huh. are these things that should be really in my drawer envelopes envelopes I think they're left over from making them but I've got these little you know slide on basket shelves and I just they're like a, a shoving sort of spot got my tag these are the tags I did in the flower fest love those I have to put, I'm going to put those in front of me so I don't forget and anything else? oh I've got another one sorry guys I will I will I know this is oh the girls made those they're going in journal kit starter kits but I haven't finished those yet okay all right rightio put those away and get crack -a -lack -a. okay so I pulled out all of these and I did pull out that but I put it aside what is this this was just something came in this. Maybe I could do something with that. Let's decorate that. And that was on some tags. You'll be telling me in a minute, Rachel, would you mind? Like, I don't like that, so I might cover that. And I'll cover that bit there. So let's see. I've got my little scraps over here. Let's pull that out. It's not so little. It's getting out of control. Um... Okay, so we have scraps here. So let's see, what might I use? No, it's a colour thing. I do like that. Let's put that there. It's stinking hot outside and it's getting hotter by the minute. Oh dear, so what's everyone up to? I am finally feeling a little bit more like myself today. I, I told you that I had been feeling really 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 super tired um actually i think i might put it up there because there's that all that bent bit there but today oh i didn't put any glue around the edges did i anyway we'll soon find out um yeah i've been feeling really tired but today i am feeling um after my trip a little more like myself i think i'd like some book page so that's good because I really don't like it when you have that um, sort of low energy for sort of feeling, but um, I think I just needed a few days to recuperate because I think traipsing around a lot, you know, when you're going, um, yeah, traipsing around a lot is quite tiring. I was talking to my brother. He's in Sorrento at the moment. He's going to Pompeii. In a minute, he'll be going to Pompeii for a tour. And... Um, 
and so he's very excited about that. It's been on his bucket list forever. He studied um, archaeology, ancient or ancient history, we call it called it in the day, um, and um, so it's been on his bucket list for a really long time. So, um, and he does really great posts on Facebook summarizing everything that we did. I am planning on doing a journal of my trip. <laughs> Better get cracking. I just haven't found the time. Um, so we'll see what happens there so I really like that now I'm thinking would I like to put something on there see and that and I might you know I could hinge that tuck it somewhere um, I think I would like to put something there so let me go over here I have this um, pouch here that has um, all kinds of sort of um, cut out or not cut out ready to be cut out imagery just in case there might be something vertical that I might like to put on there no that doesn't go with the paint the modern painted ledger not at all not in the slightest so let's just keep on looking I know you can't see but you can imagine what's in here it's pretty chunky so yeah I'll be looking forward to hearing what he has to say about Pompeii if it has met up with his expectations I'm sure it will because it's a pretty amazing place and very well conserved. Preserved, not conserved. Preserved. Um, hmm. No, not finding anything there. I think I'll use a fussy cut. Okay, what's in here? Flowers, I think. Just looking, to, especially the ones that are already cut out, and of, are of particular interest to me, because then I don't have to do any fussy cutting. Got a few of these. No, nope, I don't like those colours together. I don't know why. Um, this is always a good one. Oh, I've got one cut out. Look at that. need something else but I don't mind that okay so let's go with that and not mess about too much but I feel like it just needs a little bit of something else behind it because it is covering up that right I could flip it around that way I actually like it I like it more that way I think because it's not all on the so much on the beige so I'm going to glue that there I know I tend to be pushed off to my left hand side and then I'm going to put I'm going to put it over slightly and I'm going to put just to get a little peek of that script there I'm going to put something up there I think so let's go to the label department and see what I might like to put there. Mm, I don't have the baubly ones of those, do I? No, I was thinking I like, I have a long one that's got little baubles and I was thinking I would like that one, but I don't have it. I need to print it out. Can't see it here. Nope, nope, nope. Not there. I've got no red ones left. I really need to get onto that. It's too small. Don't want one of those. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Nope. Not the right colour. They're too small. I was trying to see if they have the baubly one there to show you, but see, I've used it. Don't even have any of them here. Oh, 
Oh, I like that one. I think I'll trim that one down. I really like those colours. it and that's going to go up there. I'm going to grab a wet one. Okay. It's in pretty poor condition, isn't it? Oh, that's now upside down. doesn't matter. Okay. So there we go. That's done. Put that aside. Next, got some triangle pockets here. These were just glue book pages. Maybe it doesn't really matter, does it? That one will go like that, and that one can go like that. So let's see. Put some, cover them up with some paper. my ruler it should be here somewhere doesn't even matter if you can see a bit of the paper behind because it is vintage Okay, and I'm going to put something up there, but first I want to have a look at this one. Very good. I turned the air up and now I'm feeling hot. I only just turned it off so I shouldn't be feeling so hot so quickly. I'm just going to fold that over. That just strengthens that a little bit. I trim a little bit of that off. And this is some of my 1600s paper. And how do I know? Because it's look, it's got holes in it. Can you see that? I'm going to put that there. So I have we have um, made some more packs of those. And um, have no fear, I have more. So I'll link those in the description box. And I also um, went to a dealer yesterday and I got a whole lot of great um, school notebooks. Um, haven't had those for a while. So um, I also made those into little packs like I normally do. And they are available too if you want to combine the shipping. So. Yeah, never be afraid to ask if I can combine shipping because I do and I normally um, refund the excess shipping once I've shipped it or if I know what the shipping is I can do it before but sometimes I, I do usually do it after um, I've mailed them off so that way I don't make any boo-boos. Oh, I quite like that there. I think I'm going to put that there.
So they're always a bit of a challenge, these triangle pockets to decorate, unless you've got a collage page and you've just um, cut it out, you know, in that shape. It can be quite a challenge. I hope everyone's okay in California. Um, I saw, I know Pam's okay. It missed her area. Um, I think they only got a little bit of rain. Pam from Pandora's Junk Journals. But I hope everybody else is okay. And, and you had the earthquake. And then, of course, I'm thinking of all of our Canadian friends too. In Is it especially in British Columbia? Um, I'm not sure where else the, the um, fires are. But, oh my goodness, my heart just is just goes out to everybody who's been affected by those. Um, because... You know, being Australian, I know how devastating. Not that it's happened to me because I live in the city, um, but we, I mean, we've had, we, oh, when was it? 2000, 2001, I think between 2001, 2000 and, 2000, 2000 and 2001, I think they were, or was it 2001? I can't remember, one of those years. Um, we did have um, bushfires even in Sydney, because Sydney has a lot of um, national parks in it. And so, um, and I know lots of people are affected by the fires. So, um, honestly, I, I hope my sister-in-law's family is okay. They, they're in, um, they're on the island. I can't remember what it's called near Vancouver. Is it Vancouver Island? I don't know. Um, I'm just hoping that everybody's okay. So, um, yeah, lots of disasters going on around the world, really, isn't there? There's, we've got, um, oh, I'm going to put that there. Perfect. We've got heat wave. I'm surprised we don't. I'm, I shouldn't. I'm not going to say it because I bring us bad luck. But yeah, that we're not having phenomenon. But we haven't had electrical storms or anything like that. So I guess that helps. But it's just honestly, I don't even want to turn on the news because it's just bad news all around. I literally hadn't seen any news. For, oh no, I saw a little um, sort of. I follow some. Australian news channels so I I did see a few headlines but I didn't really get to watch um, what was going on oh I really like that oh, we're going down the botanical road today got glue everywhere okay when I when I was in Dubrovnik, I, I mean, of course, I watched Game of Thrones. I used to, I mean, oh my goodness, Game of Thrones! I found that so it caused me so much anxiety, but it was so good. Oh, the end of it was terrible though. They could have done a better job with the finale, but anyway, um, you know, of course, I didn't know that it was filmed in Dubrovnik because you know I don't know these things. Um, I don't know what that's for, um, and so oh. Now, what will I do with those? Hmm. Well, I think I might make those. Excuse me while I get distracted for a minute by the job at hand. Um, yeah, I didn't know that it was um, filmed there at all. Um, I, thought it, I don't know why. I maybe thought it was filmed all in the UK or something like that. I don't know what I thought. I'm going to make this into a wraparound pocket. So I'm going to keep those on one side and then that side would be a tuck. But I'm going to put some sort of colour on there, I think. Um, and so my brother was all excited because he was, he kept telling me for years, watch Game of Thrones, watch Game I never did. Because I said to him, oh no, Steffi doesn't like those kind of period sort of programs. And then, then one day we didn't have anything to watch. So we started watching it and then had to watch it all. You know, we binge watched. Um, but I found it really stressful as a show because um you know there was a lot of violence a lot of bad things that were going to happen all the time and um violence you know very violent against women the you know the king was terrible um they're all terrible and so yeah i did find it um did cause me quite a bit of anxiety to watch it but it was very good so i did so i was very um i then i couldn't remember where all the things were um 
you know, where that what they had filmed and whereas my brother knew everything. He's like, these are the steps and these are the shame. This is when CSC did the, the shame walk and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, I can't remember. So um, I felt like I needed to sort of re-watch it, but then I don't want to re-watch it because it was stressful. So I'm going to put that there. I did say colour, but that's not colour, is it? Um, but anyway, I think I'll put just, I think I'll leave that. And then when I decide whatever journal to put it in, that will be a pocket. Oops, glue it around three sides and it's going to go on the edge of the page and then we'll have this so I can do something here I'm just waffling today it's just a bit of what it's a bit of a waffle sesh about not talking about nothing shall we say nothing and everything or nothing and nothing um, now let's gonna put that there and I don't want too much on there. I think I might just have a little label of some sort. Something vertical. No, I was thinking that, but then I changed my mind, didn't I? I love these. These are just stamped. Oh, I think I'll put that there. That's just stamped. I, I swished some watercolour over a book page and then just stamped it. There we go. Done. Because that's been in there for a very long time. Okay, what's next? I'm avoiding this one because we did those not too long ago. Um, I, I don't know. Someone gave me those. I think I would just, you know, they would just slide in somewhere. I don't think I would do anything to those. Now, these are folded over glued down book pages that, um, you know, I remember I told you I thought I had to have everything so thick it had to be like cardstock. And they never glue down properly anyway. So I'm just going to, because it's so thick, I don't want it to be so thick because, you know, I changed my mind as I do. And so I'm just going to peel off what I can. And I think I'll make that into, that could be something nice that could flip at the beginning of a journal. So let's make it into something like that. So I'm going to go over here to my special box and find some sort of image that I might like to see. going through I like that one let's do that one and I think I'll just tear it very bad tearing some things never change not even a holiday can make me tear straight Okay, but I'm thinking behind this, I'm going to put, let me see, do I have any holy, and when I say holy, I mean literally holy paper, look at this, this one is fragile, I'm going to glue that on there, I actually don't even mind seeing, I actually like seeing, can I say actually again, will I say that again? Um, I like seeing the vintage paper as well. I mean, honestly, this paper is like lace. And this is not even a bad one. So I didn't feel like I could really recuperate this one when I was tearing them up. So, it, you know, it would have ended up with the smallest amount. So I just um, thought, well, I don't mind if it's got worm trails. <laughs> but, oh, my goodness, I think about my sister. Deary me. Don't look, Sarah. I don't think Sarah has time to watch videos at the moment, but if you do, says, don't look. Shut your eyes. Because you'll be heebie jeebie. Oh no, I want to run my glue around the edge of this. I, I didn't obviously put my glue, even though this is smaller, so ideally it would have been a good idea to put my glue onto here, but do you see how fragile it is? This is actually a rag paper. This is 
these darker ones were a bit more frail but I tell you what some of those pages are really strong this one wasn't so strong but yeah it's a lovely color I like the brown color the tan color stick it down it's getting a new life instead of going in the rubbish oh and it makes me so sad like the so when I lived in Florence I the I did a fine arts course and it was called antique trade and marketing and it was really um, about um, so identifying styles so we did everything so you know art and paintings and silver and ceramics and rugs it was the best course and fabrics and all kinds of things furniture and one of the things that we learned because we learned how to catalog as well I can't remember now so don't ask me but I did at the time because um, I fancied working in an auction house but of course those kinds of jobs are few and far to far between um, but we learned how to like identify styles and maybe I mean obviously it was focused on Italy so Italian styles and you know it's, they'd do a certain leg on a chair or the, they'd do a certain background in the back of the painting and that sort of thing um, and one of the interesting things we learned like let's take the example of a, a Chippendale chair um, is that if you had one chair then it had a certain value like to say to say it was a set of 12 chairs but there was only one then it would be worth maybe I, I mean it would probably would be worth more than this I'm just I didn't we didn't go into the actual pricing but um, just say you had one so therefore it would be worth 100 euro that I'm just of course it wouldn't be worth more than that but I'm just making it up as I go um, but if you had the set of 12 it wouldn't be 12 times 100 the price would then be be exorbitant because you had the complete set and then of course if you had the table to go with it then I think the prices would go beyond so I found that really interesting so that brings me to the books so this gentleman that um, was very elderly and he let his books go to to ruin with the worms he um, so some of the books I have m multiple tomes of them because um, he had the whole collection but I mean the whole collection is I just makes me so sad because the having the whole collection of big tomes of antique books like that they're worth a lot of money but they're not worth any money now so much money now because he, they they were totally destroyed by worms and then nobody wants them so um yeah it made me really sad that he his I mean I'm not going to blame the, uh, the him because he's very elderly and and he couldn't keep up with it anymore um but yeah it's just sad to know that that collection he had this incredible collection of books that he paid a pretty penny for um and they've all had to be ripped up because they were literally like stencils the pages a lot of the pages were like stencils it's the best way isn't it i love that i've got a lovely um strong very strong um journal card and I just did it while I was chatting to you, just like that. Oh, look, this one's backed already. Well, you know what I can do? You can see how it hasn't stuck down very well. So I'm just gonna take, I can't throw anything out. See, I could use that. I actually did really like this paper. It's 1900s paper, but I did. it has a nice, it's got a little ribbing on it. I actually really liked it. I remember that book. I'm just going to, because it's loose I just want to I'm going to snip along there and just take the looseness off I had to tell an elderly gentleman off today in the post office I'm sorry to say he um, was doing my turn and and um, my lovely lady that um, yeah, that works there she she, you know, when I come in with it, quite a lot of parcels, she she does say to the, to whoever's after me, I'm going to use this paper again. Um, she does say to whoever's after me, oh, we're going to be 15 minutes, something like that. So a couple came in. We'd done one parcel and a couple came in and she said, we're going to be um, about 15 minutes. I think she might have been a bit faster, but um, she said, we're going to be about 15 minutes. And then... Um, 
I'd done a few parcels and this elderly gentleman came in and probably within three minutes of being there, he started huffing and puffing and like this, like, oh my God, this is so annoying. I mean, I can't, sometimes I wait half an hour, 40 minutes for my turn. I would never be um, rude to anyone because everybody has to do what they've got to do. Like I wait for my turn, you wait for your turn. Anyway, so he started going on and then um, I think I had three left or I would think I had three left plus she was doing a fourth one but she was already started working on it and he goes over to fl comes flying over to the window and he says um oh how many of those do you still have to do and she said three and a bit like this and he went oh 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 you can't do that this is terrible no he was going on and on i think he'd been there probably for six minutes um and and he was huffing and puffing and he wouldn't stop so i turned around and i said to him you know, in the in the formal Italian, I used the formal Italian. I tried tried my best to not be rude. I said to him, excuse me, but what do you need to do? I said, I'm working. What do you need to do? He was a pensioner. I said, what do you, what, what do you need to do that you're in such a hurry? And he he didn't say, he was like, oh, you can't, oh, you, this is just not on, on there, and like this. I'm not, I'm not doing, talking to you and sort of thing like, you know, not saying anything to me. And I said to him, well, I'm working. So I'm sorry, but I have to do this. And then <laughs> and then he kept on going and I said, what did I say to him? I said, um, I said to him, so would you have it would you be concerned about anybody if you had a long thing to do? Like if you had to go and do one of those investment bondy sort of things that the a lot of the elderly people do here. And and he didn't he just didn't answer me and then he <laughs> he stormed off. I'm like, there you go. There's my my daily um, post office postal experience. It hasn't happened for a while, but got one today. Got a doozy. So anyway, then then I had my had Lulu. She went off and did the second second round of mailing today. And um, she does. She, they just. I said to her, you just. I was polite to the man, but I said to her, you just don't answer. You just let them let them say and just ignore. So that's what they do. But no, she said nobody really did say anything to them today. So that's good. Oh, I think I might put her on there. I think I might like that. So let's, I'm going to trim this one out straight. Straightish, because I don't even get it straight with the machine. I don't even know how long I've been here for. It's swept up with the creating. She's going to go there. Oh, I love that. Yep, 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 yep. Very good. Very pleased with that. I wonder if we're getting a certain look today. Let that one dry. So this one I didn't even need to back because it had a plain other side. So this is one of the examples of what you do with your glue pages. It, I mean, sometimes I just glue on them and glue on them and glue on them and then I throw them out. Um, I feel like that one might like a little bit of textile or something. Um, or otherwise, I, I put them aside, let them dry and, and then um, use them as a base for something else. Do you know what? I think I might like a bit of this. Where did this come from? Oh, I think I bought it. I think that's where it came from. The shops. I think I'm going to. Oh, it's double over. I'm going to fold it like that. Grab my stapler. Love that red there in the center. I didn't put any glue, so it may wiggle. I love that. Yay, I forget to use this sort of thing. I love that. Love, love, love. Snip my corners because I like that look. Okay. Yes. Very good. Okay, so let's see where we're at. Those. 
finally did something with that. That's a wrap around. So I've got quite a bit made today. And then this one, this one took me a minute. That has been in there. It's a bit damaged, but that's okay. It's been in there for quite a while. So maybe I'll make something else. Love those corner pockets. Love having those ready to go. Okay, what else do we have? So we have this. I think I might make that into maybe like a bookmark or a narrow tag or something. I'm just going to take off that curly whirly bit. And again, I think I'm going to cover it with this paper. Now I can make it a little bit wider by I'll just tear that like so and then I'm going to actually fold that over I think. For one that's not too sticky because all when I when I lift this up it'll all stay on the glue paper. I'm gonna fold that down there like so and I'm going to put some paper there. I might just take oh what about this one? See I'm building it up so I can I'm making it oh I love this look, look at that it's had something glued on it. It's a bit thick there. I'm just going to take off that. I know it won't be jagged anymore, but I'm going to take that off because it's the thick glue where this was joined in the signature. So that way I can have this. I'm going to glue now glue this one onto there. So really the paper the base paper is just giving it a bit of support and I'm going to fold that up so I can take that off. And put some glue on here. So building up my layers to strengthen the very old, fragile 1600s paper. Now we've got a nice, decent sized tag shape. Well, journal card really, because I haven't cut out the tag shape, but I'm going to put a little something there. So let's just have a think about that. They are very sticky. Oh, I think that's pretty. Let's just tear it. on this side that has less script and I'm actually going to wrap it around to the back I don't think I want to put too much on here but I think I may punch a hole there grab my proper dial just thinking do I want to put a bit of washi up there if I want a little bit of something up there before I punch the hole. Not that. Oh, I'm going to put that there. That's an actual stamp from a um, envelope. It's not old. Vintage, but not old.
and then I'm going to put through some of this because I like it. And then I'm going to staple it. And I'm just going to leave that one plain for someone to decorate. Yeah, just like that, I think. That bothers me, and that bothers me. Do I want anything else? I don't think so. I'm just going to keep it simple and then it can be decorated at a later date. So there we go. So just a simple tag, got side pockets, um, two journal cards, absolutely love those, and decorated an envelope. I think it probably came from AliExpress, and then that's a wrap around the edge of a journal page, like so. Glue it around three sides, and here, just there and there, and that's a side tuck. Very nice. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video. That's what's in my box for today. Didn't even make a dent in my pile. However, you know, we've got more videos to come. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful afternoon and I will see you again soon. Bye.